so I have no clue what that Federation fleet's doing there, but sadly there's not a whole lot I can do regardless, but I am good for everything else. I just kind of wish that this boundary here actually extended deeper into, deeper into the Fulvar system there. That would have been good. That way I could have took that and not really have any issues, but I think it's because of that one Karase plant that's making it difficult for me though. So not a whole lot I could do aside from maybe just conquer that one last system there. And that's probably what my main option is. Seems I can pretty much see everything that's going on up here and off in the Federation system, so that's not a problem at all. And then just throw a couple of ships to go with it. And then my Hercules Beetle and that will clean up the fall the fall bar on their own essentially. I don't need no I don't need to push the the boundary back. I could just steal the fall bar systems here and that should solve that issue for me almost. So just leave that one system for the fall that the Volvar control. Oh and I I don't even have a colony ship, so so much for that plan there. I thought I had a, I thought I, or rather I thought I had infantry troops there, but I guess not. I got a crap ton of lattice that I can use, and I also got these ones here. The eight that I just used to conquer that system, I can take up there. Now let me just find them quickly. So we got two transports. We'll take them the end off. Got to be very careful about losing them though. So let me at least get some kind of escort ship to kind of at least allow my consorts to retreat and that way preserve the freighters in the process. That's probably the best I can do. Besides for just sending like, yeah, because I don't have very much else and they need time to repair it looks like for my soldiers. So there is that. Otherwise I got a battleship here that's not going to do much on its own. Because I've got these soldiers that could easily clean it up for me. That's not an issue. Hell, yeah, might as well have those group up. Raiders, there it is. Oh, and ha they also have a battle station. I didn't realize that. Ah, that's not an issue, though. As we already know. They don't even have shield tech. They don't have the high-tech weaponry. Last time I overstocked this, thinking that the battle station was going to be a threat. Not this time. Although they do have fires, so that might be a bit of a hassle. We'll have to see how those, uh... We'll have to see how those cluster cans work out for me. Yeah, if I can just annihilate them while I'm taking out the battleship, that's not going to be a threat. Although I do only have, like, a single shield generator, so I need to be mindful of their health. A lot of anti manor cans going out, I gotta say. Sadly, they're not gonna hit much for me. So I think I might as well focus on the battle station. Because, sure, they're not gonna be good against the fighters, but they're gonna wreck that station. Once they get in close enough for the full, the damage to actually manor, that is. There we go, now we're talking. What is that? 5,000 points of damage with an additional 25% boost, they think, so. I don't know if that's additive or it multiplies though, so I'm not sure if it's going to be like 6,000, 7,000 or what. But that was a nice, simple. Nothing died at all. Kind of what you would expect. It just goes to show even my Fregas can demolish the battleships so though. They are woefully outmatched. Heck, I even think my soldiers are about as cost as much as their battleships at this point. Considering my uh, frigates are like about what 300 uh, resource points, or was it in production to make? I didn't didn't really check though how much the Raleigh's battleships are, and I can't find out now, unfortunately. So solar arrays. So this is on armory too. So yeah, for two billion credits, so that doesn't seem worthwhile. Not at this point. Almory too, that's like the planet and not actually my belt either. So no, not my belt. 
and this is pretty much done pretty much building everything so I can get precious mineral miner and then just get this building my ships up which is really uh, all I can really do here so I'm gonna have a massive amount of ships and the quarter scene are gonna be hard pressed to deal with it heck I could pretty much just do an all-out assault on the quarter scene rather than wait for my titans and wiping out the federation and just get that out of the way now so we are at Windu, huh? The home world of Mace Windu, I guess. It's just a shame it was it had to be colonized or over or conquered by the Volvar of all things. But what the hell? As what is this acidic atmosphere? Okay, my 50% base population maintenance cost. Okay, so it's just just a sad world there for the Volvar, in other words. Is what I'm understanding. Ah, I did it again. It just took my entire fleet rather than leave them at the base or the plant there to garrison. Hopefully, that should be enough. There we go. That should be enough to defend it on its own. And I don't think, well, there is a couple of systems to kind of look through with the management. So, let's see what we have. Stern belt, so there's not too much there. I think that's a rich world. So that'll be decent for mining. So we'll get all this out of the way. So that way we don't have to worry about any further. Hopefully. Because it can be, uh, it's definitely going to be the forward staging point there for a lot of my production against the quarter scene. So I want to get this prepared or built up for production at least. I don't think I need much else, so I think that covers all my bases there. And what's the other one? Uh, where is it? I know it was here. I s thought I said there was two. Okay, magic. So that's the one I conquered, I'm pretty certain. So I have no clue what I want to do with this. So I'm just going to throw everything on there. And then organize it quickly to make sure I have the cheaper stuff there being first. Like, they already got the automated refinery. What is it? I forget what this stuff's called, and damn it, I misclicked. Oh, well, it's already taken care of for now, so I should not have to worry about that. That's only a battle station. I would love to auto that. But, of course, it's a battle station, so chances are I'll suffer some damage if I were to just auto it. Even if it is, like, pretty primitive weaponry. And this one, okay, this is a Mark II, so this is entirely all fighter wings. So, we get to throw some of their phases into the mix, but I still have to retire that at some point, too. But this is going to be nice and simple. All rated shields are down. They're poor, low-quality, tier, class 1 shields. While well, they're just getting vaporized by phases on fighters. I told you they were out of class. I don't even... I wonder what the quarter scene is going to throw at me there. Because seriously, the ships that they currently have can't be all they're going to throw at me, right? Seriously? I hope not. Because that's going to be very one side once I get a full maxed out federation... Or was it a maxed out fleet, essentially. Because once everything's maxed out and I have it all concentrated together, it's going to be basically a giant wrecking ball. And it doesn't matter how quickly I can build the ships at that point. If they don't have the power and tech to utilize against it right off the bat, they're pretty much dead. Because they have to deal with the fact that they're all their ships are spread out heavily. I just need to be ready to get all my spies going. So that way I can keep track of their movements and and destroy the fleets as they're isolated, separated. Okay, here comes the master fleet now, so... Ooh, and they came a lot faster than I thought. So let's get these fleets all together, shall we? Because we kind of need them to. And this is a large size fleet. We got... It's well, it's kind of hard to distinguish these, unfortunately, but normally they go half and half assault and escort, so... 
There's one exterminator and only nine. Oh, there's a second exterminator there. I don't know why it's in the middle. So they have 10 ships, so that makes out two exterminators and four assault and es escort frigates. So that's going to be really simple. I thought it'd be a lot harder, but I guess not. Poor Master Fleet. Pretty soon I'm going to come after you as well. Ooh. Four Corvettes against the uh, fighter and I'm just, just let's see just to kind of prove my point let's see how this goes annihilating all resistance okay so I didn't lose a single thing but what kind of damage did I take I wonder huh they want my orbital habitat such a low quality attack and they got the null field can which is kind of the same thing I have although I don't really care about the chaos field though so it's kind of pointless. And I would love to give them the habitat, but they don't really have anything to offer me, do they? So they've got tons of resources to throw around. Maybe I can give them the oral center, and, or I could give them something else that's more useful. In exchange for summer attack. I don't know what's the Lemba seeds. Back to the root. I Unfortunately, I forget exactly what all this does. So that makes it a little bit difficult. That's for pollution, I believe. Nano cash is there. It's expensive as hell, so I don't want to try for that. Platinum for income, trade. Mac the root, I don't remember what that's for either, damn it. So we'll, we'll try that and see how it works. I think it's fair. I get, get some extra resources in the process, and of course, go figure. They are uh, coming after my blockade fleet. Why the? Why the hell is this fleet up down here? Did I misclick or something? Oh well, let me just capture that and it, it fell on me. There we go. Instantly captured. We got tons of stuff here. Ooh, they even have a hall of heroes for me. That makes my life easier. They've been doing the work for me, essentially. To the point where pretty much I have no penalty at all due to the fact that they boosted some. Of course, there's only two citizens, so I need to kind of do all the other work for them, which is the biospheres and that. So I can't get too excited. Oops, I don't think I want to do the infrastructure just yet, but I want everything else. Might as well have decor mine, because why the hell not, since I can't mine from this or farm. I don't plan on having mobile farms anytime soon. So I think I'm going to rush that so I can make use of this cloning facility that's here. To help boost the population growth while I build everything else. But yeah, because it's going to have massive growth and they even have a charging hub. Don't ask me why, but it's there. And they have the replicator to help sustain themselves, so that works out well. I got plenty of freighters and food, so everything is in perfect order, and it's ultra rich. So I could almost use this for my inner production world, in a sense. If only it wasn't uh, crawling with humans, I could benefit from my uh, efficient workers' production bonus. Then, yeah, well, it's still gonna make a good addition. Oh, and the master fleet hasn't even caught me yet, so this should be fun. I still say it's going to be pretty one side, considering I have shields that negate the escort frigates and a couple of battleships as well, and a crap ton of corvettes to greet them too. I don't even care about my lockdowns at this moment, but I should try and find them, since I have them in this fleet somewhere. Where are my lockdowns? I want to find them. Come on, I know you're in here. Hmm. Ah, there we are. Perfect. They're all in the back. Interesting. There we go. I got them grouped up finally, so I'm going to move them. I'm going to start moving these guys over this, this way, and the lockdowns are going to move down below. Oh, wait. 
I thought I moved you damn ships. What the hell? That didn't work out as I would have liked. Maybe I misclicked. They're still not moving. I don't know why they're not moving, but they're not moving. Is it... Oh, it's because I got them hotkeyed. And it's completely messing up everything. And that is quite the annoying bug. I gotta say. I don't know what the hell happened, but it... That's how it worked out. And it makes little sense at that. Let me get the powered engines, because these things are relatively slow. I want to try and at least get a good test run on these things. I just don't know how to best use them. Because they can hit the frigates relatively well. They're lined up nicely. And I got like one singularity can on each of them, so... There, look at that poor master ship go. Things just getting wrecked horribly. It's going right through its shields. Man, was that seriously just from the lockdown frigates? That was incredibly fast if it was. It's just a shame that can't really utilize it much better than that. Because I only got six of them here. Now let's see, does that go through the canopy shield? Yeah, it actually goes through the canopy shield, looks like. Or it does damage the canopy shield and goes through the ship. I'm not sure which yet. Ah, poor Master Fleet. Before you were mighty, but now you are nothing. Even the Master Fleet can't stop the hive. I essentially outgeared them or outtech them. Because I'm utilizing weapons they don't even bother to try using. So I feel bad for them.